This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Monday, January 24th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From Al Jazeera, explosion in Ghana town kills 17, destroys hundreds of buildings. A motorcycle and another vehicle collided with a car carrying explosives to a mine in western Ghana, causing an explosion that leveled hundreds of buildings, injured at least 59, and killed at least 17 people. The explosion occurred near a mining town called Bagasso, which is located about 180 miles, about 300 kilometers, west of Ghana's capital, Accra. There's now a large crater where there was formerly a community, and officials have said they're searching for survivors in the rubble. From the Associated Press, Intel to build $20 billion Ohio chip facility amid global shortage. American computer chipmaker Intel has announced it will invest $20 billion in Ohio, building out two semiconductor fabrication factories for its own hardware, alongside what it's calling a foundry, where it'll produce chips designed by other companies, just east of Columbus. This investment is expected to create somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 jobs, alongside 7,000-ish construction jobs during the building process and tens of thousands of potential future jobs that'll maybe be created by suppliers and partners that build in or move to the area to work with Intel. This is considered to be a significant move as semiconductors have been in short supply globally and are increasingly valued by the market and perceived by government leaders to be resources of strategic as well as economic importance. And from Axios, CIA finds Havana syndrome unlikely caused by foreign campaign. The U.S.'s outward-facing spy agency, the CIA, has said in a preliminary report that a seeming illness or condition experienced by American and Canadian diplomats working around the world called Havana Syndrome is probably not the result of some kind of foreign attack. About 1,000 cases of Havana Syndrome, named after the city where the condition was first reported and thought by some to be the work of foreign agents using poison, or some kind of directed energy weapon have been looked into, and almost all, with few exceptions, which are still being investigated, have been, quote, explained by medical conditions or environmental and technical factors, including things like previously undiagnosed illnesses and the fact that many of the reports were made out of an abundance of caution, end quote. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.